okay friends now we are going to talk about uh, this uh, allosteric enzymes and the activity of allosteric enzymes so what happens in this case that we are having the enzyme which is having the active site and and we are also having this uh, this is the inhibitor uh, for this allosteric enzyme and we this is the substrate that this enzyme need to convert now when uh, as we can see when uh, uh, this this inhibitor is bind to the enzyme it will block the active site so there is no conversion of sub substrate into product but where uh, when there is no inhibitor present the substrate can easily bind to the active site and can make the products now in in this kind of in enzyme we are having uh, uh, both active and inactive state of the enzyme and as and this active and inactive state of the enzyme is rapidly changing uh, to make enzyme sometimes active then sometimes inactive so sometimes when the when uh, the enzyme is form in active state that it can easily bind to substrate and convert to product now this is a uh, activator of this allosteric enzyme when the activator bind to the allosteric enzyme regulatory site it can bind to substrate and can pro can convert this into product now if there are uh, there are also this uh, inhibitors if inhibitor bind to the enzyme then uh, the, the, the this uh, enzyme is blocked or maintained in the inhibitor phase and no active site is available for the substrate binding so substrate cannot bind and substrate cannot be converted into product so in case of this uh, allosteric inhibition as we can see uh, only the substrate can be converted to product when uh, there is the availability of the active site and the availability of this active site can be fixed uh, with the help of the activator uh, pro activator uh, units or act activator proteins okay and when there is an inhibitor uh, of uh, the enzyme which will block uh, this enzyme to to the inactive state okay so again uh, about this uh, the most important thing about this allosteric regulation is this in this allosteric re regulation we are having many different sites not only one site okay so uh, along with the active site we are having in uh, regulatory site now regulatory site can bind with activator regulatory site can also bind with inhibitor if regulatory site uh, site bind with uh, the activator then the active site uh, the active conformation of enzyme is been fixed and that enzyme can uh, can utilize substrate to make product if uh, inhibitor bind to that uh, regulatory site then that, then that enzyme is is been blocked or keep in uh, kept in uh, the inactive state and that's why those enzyme cannot convert any substrate that that those enzyme cannot provide the active site thus cannot convert substrate into product so that is the basic view of uh, mm, this catalysis of this uh, allosteric enzyme and we can regulate this allosteric enzyme by, by varying or adding that activator or inhibitor pro inhibitor molecules in the environment that's it and i hope that's going to help you thank you